Welcome to Meldon Law and Friends. I'm Jeffrey Meldon, your host and founder and attorney at Meldon Law since 1971. Uh, We've got a really interesting show uh, for all of you today for some uh, terrific uh, local merchants that we try to support. Uh, Meldon Law is a uh, local law firm in north central Florida, and we try to make sure that we uh, bring in uh, members of the community to help you know what's going on. Uh, we got a bunch of uh, great things going on this month at Meldon Law. Uh, the Gator basketball team is really uh, rocking and rolling. They uh, have some tough games coming up. Uh, our next uh, Gator giveaway is uh, the men's basketball uh, game on February 10th against Auburn. Uh, We're giving away free tickets plus uh, a swag bag, and uh, Auburn's one of the top teams in the SEC. Uh, It's going to be a great show. Uh, Bruce Pearl is the coach of Auburn, and our coach, Todd Golden, used to uh, work for Bruce uh, Pearl as an assistant coach, so there's a story behind that. I think uh, you're going to really enjoy the Gator basketball games. Some of you may be seeing them on uh, TV, others seeing them in person at Meldon Law. We're the only official injury law firm partner of the Florida Gators, so we score all kind of tickets and we give them back. How do we give them back? Through our Facebook page. Just go to Meldon Law on uh, Facebook and you'll find us in all these free giveaways. Anybody can enter. It's open to everybody. We're trying to support Gator Sports and also uh, have our uh, friends have a good time. So uh, that's coming up. Again, that's uh, February 10th. The Gator Gymnastic Team. Wow. I don't know if you've been following Gator Gymnastics, but this year we lost a lot of our really top-notch team members. Uh, uh, Trinity Thomas, who may have been the top competitive gymnast in collegiate sports last year, uh, she she had finished and graduated, so she couldn't uh, compete anymore. She is an assistant coach. However, we've got all these great freshmen, the best freshman class uh, in the country, and they're getting better and better each week. It's really interesting because uh, I went to the matches last year, and the Gators um, were consistently scoring some of the highest point totals in the whole country. They lost uh, the national finals to Oklahoma by one-tenth of one point. Uh, so uh, we had to retool this year, and now every meet uh, you see improvement by the freshman class. So uh, it's kind of cool. It's the hardest ticket to get in Gator sports, and it, they sell out the arena every um, meet, and it's really exciting. It lasts a little under two hours, so it doesn't take up your whole evening. It's always on a Friday night, and it starts around 7 o'clock. And we're giving away uh, tickets to the Arkansas uh, meet that's coming up February 9th. So check us out. Uh, we're also going to be inside the O-Dome next to Gate 3 and 4 to spin the wheel and win free Gators swag. So get yourself entered into the Facebook contest under Meldon Law for free gymnastic tickets. And then uh, you can come meet us at uh, the Spin the Wheel contest uh, where everybody wins some free swag. Uh, Meldon Law is located in north central Florida. Uh, We represent uh, folks up and down uh, I-75. And, you know, uh, we start up in uh, uh, Columbia County at the Georgia Line and go down to the villages and all the Uh, counties and towns that are uh, within about 45 minutes of I-75 are uh, regular uh, clients. And uh, we thank you very much for supporting us. Uh, We've been growing exponentially over the past uh, few years, due in large part uh, because of the support of our local uh, folks that know us, have known us, and uh, we want to thank you for that. A couple other things going on. Uh, Oldies But Goodies, Classic Car Show, out in Homestead Park in Williston. 
on Saturday, February 17th. It's the third annual Oldies But Goodies Car Show and Trucks from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Free entertainment, food, specialty vendors, and great cars. And the admission is free. For those of you that uh, haven't been out to the Williston uh, Homestead Park, you're really missing something exciting. They took an old shopping center and converted it into this really neat venue where you can uh, hear music, uh, hang out and see neat things, great food. So uh, let's support our uh, hometown team. A uh, couple other things going on. We just got a, a large order of our new consumer guides. Uh, there's two of them that uh, apply to what we do, which is personal injury, accidents and injury. Number one is how to buy Florida auto insurance, a three-step approach. Uh, three steps. Number one, either download our book from our website at meldenlaw.com or just call the office at 352-373-8000 and we'll send you your free copy of our consumer guide. It explains what uh, terms you need to know as far as Florida insurance and what it covers. Uh, it's all done in one page, actually, as far as our summary at the end. Uh, then you ta- uh, once you know a little bit about uh, insurance terms, go meet with your local insurance agent. We always encourage you to do this rather than going to someone who's uh, uh, online or an 800 number who has no idea of what insurance you need. Uh, you want a seasoned professional to give you advice to make sure that um, anyone in the state of Florida has the insurance you need. The reason is is because Florida is different than all the other 49 states. Um, and if you don't buy uninsured motorist coverage in Florida, chances are if someone else wrecks your car, uh, you're going to be SOL because uh, the uh, state of Florida does not require you to have anything but the uh, minimal insurance. It's not full coverage. It's uh, up to $10,000 for property damage, which doesn't even uh, fix the front bumper, and uh, 10000 in medical bills, which uh, is whizzed away in the emergency room. So uh, uh, we wrote a book. Uh, it's uh, short, easy to read, but you do need to know it in order to protect you and your family. The second book I wrote is uh, Seven Mistakes That Can Wreck Your Florida accident case, and uh, we encourage people to try to handle the cases on their own. Uh, we lay it out, how, how we do it, how to do it, and uh, what you need to do. And uh, if you read um, our book on uh, the mistakes that'll screw up your case, uh, we're glad to even uh, consult with you for free. We'll be glad to walk you through it, tell you what to do, how to deal with property damage, how to deal with something called diminished value. Those of you that are in a wreck, you know that uh, uh, the value of your car goes down, even if they fix your car, because uh, you're uh, <laughs> you're going to be uh, showing up as far as what the uh, uh, condition of the car is and has it ever been in any wrecks. You don't want to buy a car that's been in too many wrecks or too bad, too bad uh, of a wreck because it can do frame damage and cause permanent damage that uh, the body repairman can't knock out. So uh, that's our second book, Seven Mistakes You Can Wreck Your Florida Accident Case. Again, they're free. Go to MeldenLaw.com. Uh, there's a tab up there. You can get them uh, if you can't uh, get to your computer. Just uh, give us a call at 352-373-8000, and we'll get it to you right away. Uh, So that's some of the things coming up. Meldon Law, it's your hometown uh, accident and injury law firm. Uh, We're there to help, and we have an amazing staff. I promise you there's no law firm that's going to give you better uh, service and treatment. We really work with our incredible team members to make sure that you're treated the way you are. that we would want to be treated if we, if the shoe was on the other foot. So uh, we deal with uh, accidents and injuries every day 
and we're uh, able to give you the benefit of our advice. So please give us a call. And like I said, even if you, you're not sure if you have a case, we'll walk you through it and give you some ideas of what you can do to solve whatever uh, situation you're in. Uh, we're going to take a quick three-minute break, and then we'll be back on Melden Law and Friends. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, I'm joining the band, of course. Since Melden Law is the official law firm partner of the Florida Gators, I want to help. Dad, we're litigators. Let's stick to helping people in the courtroom. Well, can we still hang out and jam a little bit? At Melden Law, we won't back down. I was going down a one-way street and a girl that was driving her car T-boned me on my scooter. I ended up going for an MRI and discovering that I had two herniated discs. Coming to carry allowed me to not have to worry about what doctor I was going to see or what physical therapist I had to go to. They say, these are the people we trust. You're going to have a great experience there. And I honestly did each time. Call Melden Law. Your consultation is absolutely free. I was driving behind a lady and very suddenly she moved out of the way. There was a log laying in the road. And when I hit my brakes, I went on top of the log. I had two herniated discs. I just haven't been the same since. Jeffrey Melton fought for me all the way. Him and his team really went there for me. Throughout the whole lawsuit, he made sure that my bills was paid. It was never no whenever I called him and asked him for something. Call Melton Law right now. And I was in an accident. Someone ran a red light and hit me, and I was hurt. You don't know where to turn. Luckily, I called Jeffrey. These big insurance companies, they don't want you to win. They truly don't. But Jeffrey and his firm and the people that work here, they just really fight for you. You call the law offices of Jeffrey Melden because you're going to need help, and they will help you. Call Melden Law right now. Hey, Sammy, look who's there. Say hi. Hey! <gasps> you you again. again! Melvin Law, Jeffrey speaking. Jeffrey! Somebody, Somebody else hit us! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here we go again. Welcome back to Melden Law and Friends. I'm Jeffrey Melden, founder and attorney at Melden Law. Uh, we serve uh, all of North Central Florida. For those of you uh, that have been seriously injured in uh, an accident or a crash, so give us a call <clears throat> anytime at 352-373-8000 or go to meldenlaw.com. We are here today with uh, our good friends, Joe and Christine Fetters, and uh, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank Good. You. So you own a company that's called Florida Blind Company, correct? Yes, yes sir. That's a great name. <laughs> How'd you get that name? Uh, well, I think we we just wanted something that was going to be easy to remember and something that, uh, yeah, people would recognize right away and knew exactly what we did without too much confusion. <laughs> Well, congratulations on getting uh, getting that uh, terrific name because you're right. Uh, it tells the story. Mm. You're in Florida and you do blinds, and that's all they have to know, right? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. So uh, let's talk about a little bit about how you got into uh, uh, the business of uh, win I call it window covering. Uh, mm. How did you get into the business of blinds and window covering? That's a good question. Um, We'll, we'll try and condense it as much as possible. So uh, we moved from Missouri about seven years ago. Um, at that particular time, um, I was working for a mom and pop uh, local garage door company. Um, we wanted to move over to something that we could kind of do ourselves. Um, so we, uh, I've always done interior decorating and interior renovation with my family growing up. Um, we saw the opportunity um, to, uh, to help another company out that did roller shades, plantation shutters in Orlando. Um, and then from there, Christine just had always uh, had a dream that for us to have our own business. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Well, good. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you have kids, right? Yes, sir. So how was it starting your own business with a family to support? Uh, it was definitely challenging. You know, we have three kids. Our oldest is 16, and then we have a 14-year-old and a 10-year-old. Oh, my God. Uh, you look so young. How do you have a 16-year-old? Yeah, I know. It's insane. <laughs> She'll be a senior next year, so it's, it's going quick, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I think when they were little, it was obviously very hard. We struggled to find something that would have a good balance between work and family mm -hmm. you know we wanted to enjoy the little years we wanted to enjoy our kids that's why we had them mm -hmm. um, so I always tried to find work that I could do from home instead of um, you know having them do daycare or anything like that that just wasn't something we wanted so I would look for jobs from home so I created my own marketing company at, at one point um, we just looked for opportunities that could help us um, you know provide for our family and so once they got old enough and we were able to kind of venture off and do jobs uh, we were able to create Florida Blind Company and um, it's been great. That's right. So um, tell us a little bit about um, uh, if somebody wants window treatment blinds um, uh, how do they get a hold of you and then uh, how do you go about consulting with them to make sure that you get them uh, what they're going to be happy with mm -hmm. that's the fun part yeah. that's the part we really enjoy um, we saw kind of a need that um, if you go through a, a big box store it's hard to get to an associate that will work directly with you um, you may have a different installer than you would a um, person that came you out usually do years. right mm -hmm. the, the the person on the floor is a salesperson mm -hmm. and they they know just enough to be dangerous yeah. <laughs> correct and correct. sometimes not even that much but yeah <laughs> but yes yeah, so we wanted to we wanted to streamline because um we saw the frustration in people mm -hmm. they would be like we we just want this can you just help us with this and so we said, you know what, let's streamline it. Let's get suppliers that are local. Um, I will, Christine and I will start out, we'll do all the measuring, all the quoting, we'll do all the installation, so. Yeah, so we, we saw that need, we wanted to meet it. You know, people spend a lot of money on window treatments yep. and I think that they should be taken care of in a way that makes them feel like they're spending their money in a good place. Well, um, I've had some experience uh, with window uh, treatment, you know, because every time I, buy a house, uh, you know, one of the first things you do mm -hmm. is, well, how do you make this house look a little better, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a place over in Daytona uh, about 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, one of the things, uh, we had a sunroom there mm -hmm. and wanted to spruce it up, so we used those uh, Bahama shutters, or mm -hmm. what is that what you call them? The um, the plantation shutters. Plantation yeah, shutters. Yes, yeah, yeah. You, were yeah. yes. you were close. We'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah, but, well, you see them in the Bahamas. You see right. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. But anyhow, so plantation shutters um, are really neat because they uh, they create a whole different look mm -hmm. uh, for the room. They do. And um, so what would be some of the uh if you if you saw a room like a sunroom mm -hmm. you know which is pretty common in florida mm -hmm. um how would you go about evaluating whether or not you know plantation shutters would work for something like that sure yeah good question and to, to answer your, your former question as well that the easiest way and the best way that we found is when our clients call us directly or they'll go on our website and they just say hey can you come to my house for an in-home consultation um, we'll, we'll then, Christine will schedule an appointment. I'll go there and measure, bring all my samples, and then to get back to your question, we'll evaluate what you have and what your vision is. That's a big thing for us is to, to ask questions and listen to what our client's vision is. We won't go in there with an idea, say, hey, you need, you need this, you have to have this, and you really have to have this as well. We will ask questions get their vision, and then show them the product that we have that can meet that vision. Right. And and uh, I'm sure you can show alternatives, too. Yes, if sir. there's something mm -hmm. that in your vision would look really sharp, <laughs> you might say, sure. here's here's this, here's some other alternatives, yes, and yes, uh, what do you think? Yes, sir. You know? yes, but sir. Uh, I think uh, you're on the right track because uh, – People who live in homes, the whole idea is to come into a, an environment that's warm, mm -hmm. friendly, makes them feel good. Exactly. And uh, windows cover a large part of um, a home, right? Yes, yes sir. Yes, so, um, and, and before we get too far, tell, tell everybody 
wh uh, what your website is and what your phone number is. So it's FloridaBlindCompany.com. We try to make it, like I said, very simple, very easy. And then our phone number is 407-504-1102. Great. For those of you listening, if you're in your car listening, uh, uh, we'll have uh, the fetters give you their phone number and contact information again at the end of the show. <laughs> but I just want to make sure that uh, the folks know how to get a hold of you. you. So, um, so I know that for a lot of people, um, pricing is, is an issue. When you when you come in and you're working with people, do you give them different tiers of pricing? So we, we try to really, you know, like Joe said, match their vision. And if they do have a budget that they want to work with, and mm. we do try to offer alternatives, you know, um, roller shades, that's one thing that can be very broad in the pricing. So, you know, we like to get down to what may be within their budget mm -hmm. and what they're also looking for. Yep. So this that's just one example. So yes. tell me what a roller shade is. Sure. So um, a lot of times, uh, especially around the villages area, we'll see that they have very wide sliders that go out into a lanai or just out onto a back porch. Um, anything from 100, we've had some that were 155 inches in width by about 90 uh, in height. So fairly big sliders. And a lot of our clients want to be able to cover that with one item. So a roller shade will just be able to go down in the evening if you'd like, and then up in the morning, then you have a clear view if that's kind of your look that you want. With roller shades, they can be anywhere from small windows to the large ones. You can do a manual, you can do a motorization. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that you had asked was, um, what about budgets? So we'll go in and we'll say, are you looking for motorization? It would add X amount to the price. Are you mm -hmm. looking for more, if budget friendly, would you like a manual roller shade that you simply put up and down manually? So there's different ways to work around budgets as well. And there's different lines of products, yes, right? Yes, so sir. do you work with several different manufacturers? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, we work with one directly out of Orlando, um, Universal, and then we also work with one that's more nationwide, Norman shutters so mm -hmm. we do so, try to have and, and within those manufacturing companies they have different price points yes sir yes sir, yes, sir they do because yeah. i i mean um i've bought enough um blinds and shutters and shades to know that uh there's a huge difference huge. i mean mm -hmm. you know, however yes, um i think um one of the things i've learned is that it makes such an incredible difference mm -hmm. in your home mm -hmm that uh, people really should think seriously about investing uh, money in it. They last for a long, long time. Yes, sir. If you take care of blinds and shutters, they'll last for, you know, yes, sir. a gazillion years. They will. Uh, so uh, they will. so it's, it's really a good investment. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it comes to uh, you walk in a home and people have um, regular windows in their living area, their you know kitchen area, and all that. Um, what are some of the different options that are popular right now? Sure, um, and you know what's interesting about that question is it it almost doesn't matter if it's a home that's being remodeled or a brand new home that just got built. Right now, we're seeing huge amounts of clients that want the plantation shutters. There's mm -hmm. reasons for that. If your budget, as far as a tier goes, plantation shutters cost the most. They also have the most uh, longest longevity, most longevity. Uh, then roller shades, <laughs> then your regular blinds in your home. Right now, we're seeing most of our clients wanting plantation shutters. It's not just a fad. The reason that they want it is not only for the, the functionality of keeping the sun out, um, getting privacy, but also because they last a lifetime, like you had mentioned. Um, well, I think they also look rich. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do. They do. So, they're so they're very nice. They, they are very nice. They're so very Floridian look. Too. Yeah. Very, wow. very. I mean, Floridian. we are in Florida. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And they that's right. they look really cool, that's right? right? Yeah, that's right. And they can take. Well, you know what? Yeah. Um, a lot of homes are. I don't want to use the word cookie cutter, but mm -hmm. they don't have any zip or pop to them. For sure. And something like a plantation shutter can take a room and completely right. change. Yes, sir. Correct. It yeah. does add value to your home as well, mm -hmm. um, as well as keeping it more energy efficient. You know, those shutters, they block out a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. And I think we can all agree that 
that's something that's very helpful here. <laughs> no, absolutely. We've also had numerous realtors tell us as well that when a particular home has plantation shutters, it sells better than ones without. Mm -hmm. Right, it sells faster and for more money yes, than uh, because. You know, they say uh, kitchens and bathrooms sell mm -hmm. homes, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that um, when you, you know, it's the same thing, though, with plantation shutters or something that's high end mm -hmm. uh, because it um, really makes the room pop. It does. It does. Now, do you use mostly white or off-white? Yes, sir. So we do probably about 95% um, just what we call our cotton white. The reason for that is here in Florida, it goes with monochromatic colors, it goes with bright colors, it goes with the more aqua or beach style colors as well. Um, mostly white, yes, sir. And um, how about, let's talk about um, draperies. Now, mm -hmm. Do you do that as well? Um, at this time, we don't do any curtains or drapes. Um, mm -hmm. There's a couple reasons for that. Uh, number one, um, the the fabrics are so wide and varied that that's a whole different ball game. Number two, we're, we like more of the streamlined Floridian look, and curtains and drapes are more tend to be more of a northern look. Right. Usually. Yeah. Well, that, not only that, you know they accumulate dust more yes, easily sir. they're harder uh, a plantation mm -hmm. shutter you you accumulates dust but you, it's easier to clean <laughs> much, it. much. And, yeah much. and and that uh you know now what about as far as other window coverings the blinds what are, what are some things besides plantation shutters that are uh, popular now um well like we had mentioned before the roller shades are very popular they're yeah. very crisp mm -hmm. looking so rollers mm -hmm. now there's different when i a roller shade mm -hmm. you you can mm -hmm. have um a, a string or a, mm -hmm. some beads or whatever mm -hmm. and you yes. know roll them up and down yes, sir. Yep. there's i see some mm -hmm. that you can pull down by hand yes sir there's a little button in the middle and you mm -hmm. can pull it up yes, and down mm -hmm. uh and then they can also help with sound, mm -hmm. right? Sound and light. Mm -hmm. So right. yes, you adjust the product to the what the folks are, are looking for. Yes, sir. Correct. Right. So we'll we'll go in and we'll ask them. We'll say, Are you looking um, for sun protection? Are you looking for privacy? Are you looking for both? And then we can cater whatever product that they're looking for. We can cater to that. Another another large seller for us is also the honeycomb or the cell shades. Um, those are very unique that in a window opening you can go you can do top down or bottom up So you can actually have just the lower section covered for privacy, but still have the light come in So there are numerous different ways to, to do that. Yeah, that works particularly like in living room areas dining room areas Whereas in the bedroom you you, you may want a dark yes, sir. Uh, you know for me, a bedroom that's uh, really blacked out is awesome. <laughs> it is. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I mean, on that Sunday morning when you mm -hmm. want to sleep in a little that's bit. Right. Uh, exactly. It's when, really... when none of your kids wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's yep. I know. My daughter's got three kids between three and eight, okay? And so... When I when I uh, ask her about sleeping in, she laughs at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. We've been there. Yes, you've been there. You yes. know what it's like. Yes. So, um, in, if somebody says, "Oh, um, I got this bedroom. I want blackout." What are some of the uh, techniques you use to make it really a sleepable room? Yes, sir. Good questions. Because a, a normal um, a normal corded or a cordless blind or a plantation shutter usually gets about 90 to 95% room darkening. If you need it blacked out, you would go more toward a what we call a blackout roller shade. No light can get through, or even a blackout honeycomb shade as well. Um, they come in um, different styles, colors, and fabrics, but the complete room darkening. Well, and the fact that you're custom makes a big difference because yeah. you'll get it within a, you know, a tenth of an inch tolerance or something. Mm -hmm. So Yes, sir. So that it actually... Does the job? Actually, right? yeah. I, I, we've gone yeah. into uh, to quite a few homes that are getting remodeled, and they have a blackout, and each side will have about three quarters of an inch at the header that still shows in light. So they're like, "Can you can you help us with that?" Absolutely. I know. Well, my wife, um, we were traveling uh, this summer. This is a funny story. So <laughs> we're we're in Madrid, and Madrid has these incredible fabric stores. Mm. And my wife, Patricia, is pretty handy. So she, so she goes, honey, uh, look how nice this material is. We're in this huge store. It's really cool. It was right in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. 
And um, I said, yeah, that's, that's really nice. And she said, this fabric is really priced well for the quality. Mm -hmm. And she, her family was in the uh, fabric business oh, uh, like okay. a long time ago. Sure. So she knew a little bit about it. So, <laughs> so anyhow, it's like, oh, okay, that's great, da 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 da. And uh, fifteen hundred dollars later, I had the fabric only, right? right? And then I had we had to figure out, well, how do we get it back oh, to sure. the United oh, States, sure. right? Because it was a big package. Sure. So somehow we figured out how to get it back to the hotel. Then the concierge, they figured out how to get it to my office and game. Right. So I'm running <laughs> from there to our home. And then she actually constructed the draperies herself wow. with a liner. Wow. And, Good for her. And, and then she had extra material, and she made valance boxes wow. above okay, each of yeah. the, This was just for our bedroom. Sure. And um, she constructed valance boxes above it wow. uh, using the same material and because the backing was really good, she was able to create a blacked out, wow. blackout That's room. Great. Okay, she's so, hired. She's hired. <laughs> well, so um, we bought all the materials ourselves. We did all the work ourselves. And after I added it up, I think it was about three thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, <laughs> by the time yep. we got it all done, and it's, it was probably a lot less than if we had brought in somebody to do uh, sure. custom. Because we had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, win yeah. windows, yeah, right, to time. do. So, yeah. wow, good for her. You know, That's so, awesome. uh, so I, I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I, I, this is just in the last few months, so I'm really excited about that. But I, the, the point I'm trying to make is it's wonderful because we actually have blackout mm -hmm. um, in our home. And I'm sure you could you could have done it for less than five or six thousand dollars <laughs> to, to make it black, that's you right, know, that's right. to make yes, it sir. black. And you know that's one of the um, important messages for our listeners and mm -hmm. viewers is that um, there's uh, a wide range of products that are available. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And whatever your budget is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Joe and Christine can help you mm -hmm. figure out what works for your budget, mm -hmm. and um, you can uh, have the results that you want. The most important thing is mm -hmm. that you're custom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and yes, I know from what I've seen, uh, the people that just go buy standard shades, a lot of times, uh, they kind of fit, but they don't exactly <laughs> fit, sure. right? Sure, that's right. Uh, that's every right. window opening is not exactly the same. No, that's right. And, and not only that, um, the quality that mm -hmm. you all get is uh, a higher quality yes, product. Yes, sir. That was very, very, very much. Very important. Go ahead. Yeah, that yeah. was very important to us when we were yep. looking for product, you know, because we're a part of a couple of Facebook groups and you hear of all these manufacturers and they're like, don't go with this one, go with this one. So, you know, we did a lot of research we before we decided to bring on certain manufacturers. We did. Yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is, that's huge for us is um, our clients. That's that their number one um, mm -hmm. because anyone can go out there and sell to anyone. Um, we we tell our clients we're not here to sell you anything we're here to measure whatever openings answer any questions um, go after the vision that you want we are not salespeople. we do not sell to anybody we just answer the questions and then we'll give them the quote so we really enjoy that face-to-face uh, -face with the clients mm -hmm. well I think that's important and nowadays um, I think uh, more than ever people enjoy having personalized service mm -hmm. uh, in, in their home mm -hmm. And because um, if you if you go to a store and you just pick something up, you're number one, you're not really seeing all the options. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, you probably don't have a lot of experience. Right. And, uh, you know, the it's not right. just hiring a carpenter and install it. It's it's everything else besides that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The, the thing is, we, we tell our clients this is this is not rocket science, but there are enough nuances and there is enough customization that to get it done right the first time, you'll Definitely give us a call. 
Well, listen, I've enjoyed having you guys on the show, and I'm going to call you the next time my wife has a project because <laughs> you could probably get it done uh, just as well, and uh, I wouldn't have to be, uh, you know, carrying, uh, a, you know, this huge uh, package uh, uh, around. I I had to t put it on my back oh, and man. carry it to the <laughs> sure. to the hotel, and then sure. you know. It, it wasn't that hard, but yeah. still, it was memories, like right? memories. Yeah, memories. Yeah, 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 it was in Madrid. Yeah, <laughs> memories, memories. Uh, but I, I really do um, enjoy the window coverings mm -hmm. that um, we have in our home. They enhance our home. Uh, they, they really uh, allow you to use the rooms uh, mm -hmm. for different purposes. There's some. Sometimes you want your living room wide open, and sometimes you want it closed up because you want the privacy. Yes, sir. And yep. you know. In, in my uh, man cave, uh, if you're walking in front of our home, everybody can see the TV in my man cave. <laughs> so my, I have to always remember to turn my blinds so, right. so that everybody doesn't know what. Actually, if you want to know what I'm watching, it's probably sports. Yeah, but right. for sure. <laughs> Our house, too. Our house, too. That's, that's right. But, that's right. But, I, but my neighbors make fun of me. They say, oh, Jeffrey, I saw you were watching the ball game yeah. last night. And I go, oh, that's good. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we tell uh, our clients, whether you're in a fishbowl, whether you have nothing in your openings, or you have old uh, window treatments that we want new ones for, we, we can help you out. That's awesome. Okay, so we're here with uh, Joe and Christine Fetters. They own Florida Blind Company. Their website is floridablindcompany.com. I learned that already today. <laughs> and uh, tell our listeners and viewers what your uh, phone number is. 407-504-1102. And that's the end of Meldon Law and Friends for this edition. Thank you very much, Joe and Thank Christine. You. We enjoyed having you, and I hope uh, our listeners and viewers learned a little bit about uh, blinds and window coverings. And uh, give them a call. Uh, what territory can you, uh, you know, is it uh, the uh, Villages Ocala area, or uh, what areas do you primarily work in? Yes, sir. Um, so primarily the village area, the villages area, um, Ocala. We do a lot in Mineola, Claremont as well. So we, Orlando, we, Orlando, we, we like to, to travel around to our clients. Yes, sir. Well, good. Okay, folks. Well, uh, we got some pros here, so give them a call. And uh, thank you very much for listening again to Meldon Law and Friends. And we'll be next. We'll be back next week with another interesting guest. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.